Hey what's up guys it's Jamie and in this video we're going to be looking at the Ionic 4 icon and this is just a great way to show your users exactly what a button means maybe with a nice symbol um, you guys know what icons are for I don't need to tell you about that but we're going to be looking at a bunch of examples of like how to colorize it and so forth so this will be a short and sweet little video and let's get into the code so if you click on well first of all I should say that uh, in the top left, I'm just at ionicons.com. Okay, so if you just go to that URL, you're able to search um, all of these icons. There are over 700 of them. And so I'm just going to click on this first one, this plus symbol, and then it pops up this little bar down here, um, which I can click the code right here, and it will copy it to the clipboard. So they've made this extremely easy to get up and running on our own site. So I do have my own blank project here. So if you don't have your own project to work in for Ionic 4, be sure to check out my video on getting started in Ionic 4, and then we'll get you all set up with your own project. Um, but assuming you've got something to work with, I'm just going to paste in that code that I just copied from um, ionicons.com. Okay, and this is like the most basic um, icon example that I can think of. It's just um, ion-icon, and then the name of the icon is that circle outline so add dash circle dash outline okay and then this simple code will just show up on our website um, so let's go and check that out so this is my website right here gonna wait for it to auto reload after saving there we go and we see the little plus icon right there okay now what are all the different things that we can do with this icon well we could make it bigger for starters so let's look at making a bigger icon so there's a good default way to do that inside of Ionic. Um, I'll just make a plain old one right here just so we can compare like the larger ones versus the smaller ones versus the regular ones. So this is a regular one. And then if we want a large one, we just set the size property to large. Okay, and this isn't the only way to change the size of the icon, but this is a way. Um, there's either large or small. As far as I can tell, that's all the docs say about it. Um, so so we have a regular one and a large one and a small one. All right, so let's go and check those out. From what I can tell, the regular one and the small one, they're like pretty similar sizes, but like the regular one is actually smaller than the small one, right? Because we went regular, large, small. And so here's our regular one, our large one, and our small one. So these are just some default options which you can use to configure the size of the icon. Um, but I'm going to show you a more advanced way to get an even more custom size. So I'm just going to copy and paste the default one once again. And then here I'm going to add on a class. This is how I would recommend doing it. I would say class equals um, custom icon. Um, typically you use uh, dashes here to separate the, the words in the class name. So custom icon. Um, we're going to use that as an identifier to style it in the SCSS. So in the corresponding SCSS file, I'm just going to write dot custom icon. All right, and then inside of here, um, I'm just going to set the font size uh, to be like maybe 64px. Okay, so this one's going to be pretty large. All right, so I'll just save that, and then um, at back on the size, we should see this last one. Um, grow to be bigger than even the large one because 64 pixels is quite large so inspecting this guy right here let's find the root element um, the ion icon so there we go we can see that the font size changed the uh, width and height of the ion icon itself which is nice because I don't think it used to do that in ionic 3 and so there we go that's how we give it a custom size um, but if you want to just use the default large and small, you can do that as well. Just whatever your needs are. All right, and now let's look at colorizing the icons so that we can use different colors from our app theme. So the way we do that is just the same way we do all the other colorizing with all the other components in Ionic. We just add the color property. So there are a bunch of different keywords here, primary, secondary, danger, light, and dark. And those those just come from the variables.scss. If you haven't seen my other videos, um, just letting you know that they, they come from here. You can customize the colors in this file if you want to. 
I'm not going to. I'm just going to show you we have blue, light blue, we have purple, and so forth. Um, there's even a light and dark inside of here. So I just picked five of them, primary, secondary, danger, light, and dark, and then specified them in the color attribute like that. And then uh, if we go back and refresh our page, see that we have the different colors right there. And the light one is barely visible, but I'm just showing you how you would configure a light icon like that if you did want one. Okay, so that's how we do the different colors, easy peasy. And then let's get some more icons just so that we can make this more interesting. Um, there are a whole bunch of them we can search if we wanted to for like uh, maybe something that has to do with text. So this text icon right here, we'll just copy that one. Um, I'll just make a new section down here for um, different symbols. Okay, just paste that one in there. Maybe grab another one about uh, video or something. Uh, we get this video cam. Um, so we'll just do two of them. And then, um, so again, just this name right here, this is the thing that's really changing. Um, you can just get all the different names from um, ionicons.com. All right, I'll leave a link in the description to this website. And then if we go and go back to our page, we see we have these different icons down here. So that's how you change like the actual, like what the actual icon is. And then also I wanted to tell you guys that um, the icon behaves differently in different types of Ionic uh, components. Like, like for example, if you put it in a button, it'll behave in one way. And if you put it in a list, it'll behave in another way. Um, and and what I mean by that is it will like uh, kind of resize to look different. Um, if you put it in the header of your app, like if I put it up here, um, it would behave differently as well. Um, and that behavior is defined by whatever element that is. So if you're interested in how the icon behaves in like in the header or in a button, um, just search for a video on my channel um, about like whatever component you're trying to use it in because chances are I covered it in there. Um, but just as a little example, I'm going to show you how it behaves inside of an ion button. So I'm going to use an ion button here. Um, just because using it in a button is so common, I'll just show you here as well. Um, so this section will be for um, use in a button. Okay, and then Inside of the button, I'm just going to place that um, that icon. And I believe that's all we need actually to get it working. Um, we don't need to mark it as an ion icon button or anything like that. Just a plain old ion button and just place the ion icon inside of there. And then here we see um, that icon is right inside of the button. And you see what I mean by when I said that it like behaves differently depending on what it's in. So you can see that here it grew to like twice the size of the other one that's not instead of a button. And so that just depends on whatever uh, component you're using it, using it in. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, if you want to configure whether the icon is iOS or MD. And what I mean by that is like if, say for example, with this video icon right here, uh, if I click on iOS, it has a different look and feel than um, Material Design. So Material Design is Google's style and iOS is um, Apple's style for these icons. So Ionic has just um, created icons styled in different ways for different platforms. So MD is used on Android and Chrome and iOS is used on Safari and iOS like iPads and iPhones. And so if you want to configure like um, what your icon is, just hard code it to just always be one way or another, no matter what the platform is, then all you got to do is put either iOS dash or MD dash right before the name of the icon. So video cam normally looks like this, but in this case, I just prepended it with um, either iOS dash or MD dash. And so if we check that out on the site, um, we'll see that down here we have the uh, this one is the iOS one, I think. Yeah, the iOS one is first, and then the material material design one is second. So you can see how they just have a different look and feel. And so that is how you configure it with the code, um, just using the MD or iOS um, 
prepend notation. Um, and yeah, that's basically all I've got for this video, you guys. Um, if you liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And also let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Um, thanks for all you guys who do comment. I really do appreciate that. Um, hopefully we can get some interesting conversations going. I want to know like what you're working on, how I can help you best work on your app, and so forth. So let me know in the comments down below. What are you guys working on? What are your thoughts on the video? Um, and with that said, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.